Hi, this is Angie Monco, life coach for intuitive women leaders. And today we're talking about the pleaser saboteur and the justification lies of the saboteur. So the justification lie in particular is I help others selflessly and don't expect anything in return. The world would be a much better place if everybody else did the same thing. So that's a justification lie of the saboteur because it's not it's not true necessarily, okay? Now, the pleaser originated and, and it has wonderful traits of wanting to help. But like Gabor Mate says, he's a trauma expert and addiction expert. He says that basically when we don't feel important for existing, we become helpers. You know, we want to help everybody. Now, this is a noble pursuit in so many ways. So I don't want you to take this the wrong way. But the point here is that we're not always doing it selflessly and not expecting anything in return. Maybe we want a compliment or an accolade or recognition of some sort or love, right? We want to be loved and we want to be accepted. And this is a strong pull for the pleaser. And again, there's so many good things about it, but, and then the thought the world would be a much better place if everybody did the same thing. Maybe, maybe not. Because a lot of times the pleaser saboteur will do things and then get tired, exhausted and resentful. So that's not, that's not serving everybody, right? What if instead we learned to take care of ourselves first and then if we have the energy left over, we do things because we want to. We give because we want to give. This is just food for thought. And if you'd like to delve into this a little bit more and, and just see how dreadful, I guess you could say, or damaging this pleaser saboteur is to relationships long term, reach out to me at HarmonyHarbor.com to the contact page. I'd be happy to support. Thank you. From a non-pleasing way. <laughs>